Hello everyone, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shavasto. Uh, in the series of the programming of the binary trees, in today's lecture, we will learn about how to find out the diameter in the given binary tree. So for finding out the diameter of the given binary tree, we must have an idea about how to find the height of the binary tree. So let's look at the, the example to understand the concept of the diameter. Suppose we have a binary tree like like this. Now, you can see that the uh, the diameter means that how many nodes are in the maximum path possible in this uh, or the largest path possible in this tree. So if I start my tool from here and going up, and then going up and then going down and then going down, and then you can see that the total number of uh, elements on this path is five and which is the largest. However, there is there are other paths also possible. Like if I start my tool from four, then also the number of elements falling on that path will be five. So four, two, one, five, six, this is also given as, as five. And similarly, three, two, one, five, six is also given as five. So five is the diameter of this binary tree. Now, similarly, if I take the concept like this, Now, in this kind of the binary tree, you can see that if I start my tool from 5, then 5 to 4, then 4 to 2, 2 to 7, and 7 to 8, there are 5 elements here. But if I take the tool of uh, this one, it means 5 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 1, and 2 to 9, then the number of elements are 5. So the two different paths are telling us the same story. It means if I go from the root, then also the number of elements on the longest path is 5. And if I don't go from the root and follow this path 5, 4, 2, 7, 8, then also the uh, length of the path is 5. It means the number of nodes falling on this path is 5. So both are acceptable. It means it is not essential that my path will always go from the root. Let's take example with in which the diameter will not go from the root. Here you can see that this is a tree, wherein the uh, in, in the binary tree, on the left hand side we just we only have the left child of uh, this uh, one that is the root, and there is no right child. So here you can see that the longest path which is possible is five, four, three, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So the maximum number of maximum path or the largest diameter or the diameter of this tree will be three. 4, 5, 6, and 7. So this longest path is not uh, going from the root because if you select any of the paths from the root, this path is containing 7 nodes and this path contains only 5 nodes. So it is not essential that the path or the uh, diameter should only go from the root. If I remove this uh, 1 and select 2 as a root, in that case, the number of elements on the largest path is seven. If I start my tool from five, so I'm just marking the notes, five, four, three, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is containing seven notes. And if I take the largest path from the root, that will be two, three, seven, eight, nine, and 10, which will be having six notes only. The largest is this one. So it is not essential that the diameter will always go from the so I will have two. Uh, I will have three conditions. Either the path going from the root is uh, uh, the diameter, or the path going from the left child is the uh, left child of the root that is the diameter, or the path going from the right child of the root is the diameter. So I will be selecting the maximum of uh, these three, and that should be the answer. So for doing so, for finding out the diameter, I hope you must have understood about the concept of the diameter. If not, then uh, progressively we can uh, 
we, we will generate a concept that will help you devising the algorithm. Now, uh, so we have seen that there are three ways or three uh, different uh, possibilities that uh, a path going from the root is maybe the damper. So let's say uh, there is a path going from the root. We are selecting first that the path going from the root is going to be the diameter. So if I uh, if if I actually uh, go for the path going from the root or selecting the path going from the root, then I must have the information about what is the height of this node, and then I must have the information about height of this node. If the height of uh, uh, this node is known to us and height of this node is also known to us, then I can say that the diameter will have a length equal to the height of this node and height of this node plus 1. Why plus 1? Because uh, this node is counted in the diameter. So up to this, the nodes will be counted for the left. And up to this, the node will be counted for the right with the help of the height. And then the adding 1 to this means the adding uh, the count of the root node will actually give us the diameter. So if I take this example only, so the number of nodes in the left side or the number of nodes on the longest path from the left-hand side, side, left side will be 3. So the height of this node is going to 3. This is just a change from the height uh, that we have discussed earlier, where uh, the height of uh, this node would have been 2 in that case. But here we are counting 3 because we are counting the leaf node also or I am counting that the height of the leaf node is 1. So rather than taking the height of the uh, leaf node as 0, I am taking it 1. So 1 is for this, 2 for this and 3 the height of this. Similarly, the 1 is the height of this, 2 is the height of this, 3 is the height of this and 4 is the height of this. So for the root node, the left height is 3, the right height is 4. Adding 1 to this will give us the diameter. So it means we have made one rule that uh, in case t is given to us, I am going to find out the height of the left child of t. So let's say h of t dot left will give us the height of the left child. And similarly, I'll find out the height of the right child, which means t dot right, and we'll add one to this, and this may give us the diameter. So let's say this is the d1 parameter. Now, if I, uh, if I don't uh, know, if, if I don't like that, uh, or uh, if I'm not sure that uh, this diameter, this is going to be the diameter, then let us find out that uh, what is the diameter length up to the left child and what is the diameter length up to the right child. So let's call the same function, the diameter function, to find out the length of the diameter from the left. And then let's find out the length of the diameter up to right child and let's take the maximum of these three. So how can I we find out the maximum? The, this will be a two-step process. So let's find out the maximum of uh, d1 and d2 and then let's find out the maximum of maximum of d1, d2 and d3. So this will give us the maximum value and we will return this as the answer. So what will be the base condition in this case? If my node given to us is null, so obviously the length of the diameter in that case will be zero. So if the tree does not exist, obviously the diameter will be zero. So this is going to be the base condition. So if t is null, let's return zero. Otherwise, all these processes will go. Let's say the d is the name of the function where t is the address of the root node given to us. So in this algorithm, there is a height function also. So I hope you know how to write the height function. You can uh, check my earlier videos also for finding out the height. Otherwise, I'm writing it here also. So let's say this is the height function in which I have the address of the root node given. If the node does not exist, if t is null, 
in that case, I will be returning zero. Obviously, if the root does not exist, then zero will be the height. Otherwise, I'll uh, I'll check if that is a leaf node. So if the given node is the leaf node, earlier we used to return zero, but here we will return one. So if t is null and uh, if t dot left is null and t dot right is null, obviously that will be the root node, uh, leaf node. So we will be returning one in this case. But if this is not the case, it means that is the internal node. In that case, I'll be finding out the height of the left child. It means height of t dot left. And then I'll find out the height of the right child. So t dot right. And then I'll be finding out the maximum of these two. And we'll add one to this and we'll return. So this is the height function. This is very simple function. Let's now uh, do the code for the same, the code block. So here is the function for the diameter wherein the address of the root node is given as t. And then if t is null, obviously the diameter will be zero. Otherwise, we'll be looking at the three different aspects. One is that we'll be finding out the diameter of the left in D1. We'll find out the diameter of right in D2. Then we will compute the height of the left and the height of the right and we'll add one to this, that will be the uh, length of uh, the path going from the uh, root node. So among the D1, D2, D3, we will be selecting the maximum one since selection of the maximum will be a two-step process or selection of the maximum among the three elements will be a two-step process. In one step, we will be finding out the maximum among the two and then whatever is coming out maximum, we'll compare it with the third one. So I'm just finding out the maximum among the D1 and the D2 and then maximum among D3 and the maximum among the D1 and D2. Let's say the maximum among the D1 and D2 is stored in M1. Then we are comparing the D3 with M1 and finding out the next maximum. So the final maximum is the answer of the diameter. So we'll be returning this M2. Let's come to the height function. And we have made that change here in the height also. If T is null, so return zero, otherwise, if t is a leaf node, then we're returning one, the count of that node. And then uh, if the node is internal, then I'm finding for the height of the left and finding on the height of the right. Then I'm finding out the maximum of the height of left and right and adding one to this and returning this. So this will be the height. After this, uh, let's come to the main where I have already made a tree by the create tree function. You can see my video on the create tree function. Fine, so you can run this program to find out the uh, diameter. So I'm sharing my screen to run this program. It is asking us to input a tree so let's draw the same tree that we have used here for finding out the diameter. We can make use of this tree. So this tree is uh, saying that the root node is having the information one. Then on the left of uh, one, there is a two. On the left of two, there is a four. On the left of four, we have a five. On the left of five, there is no value. On the right of five, there is no value. On the right of four, there is no value. On the right of two, we have seven. And then on the left of seven, we have nothing. On the right of seven, we have eight. On the left of eight, we have nothing. On the right of eight, we have nothing. On the right of one, we have nine. There is nothing on the left of nine. There is nothing on the right of nine. Now you can see that uh, uh, the height of this tree is four and the diameter of this tree is five. So you can see that we have computed this as a diameter five. You can check with any other uh, uh, tree of your choice and verify the answer. Thank you so much for watching this video.